Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm an audio recording engineer, producer, songwriter, musician, and educator. In this course, I'll take you through my mixing workflow in Studio One 4, and I'll be doing a full mix of the song Tortured Soul by Christine Lucius. And I'm gonna do this using all stock plugins included with Studio One. In this course, I'll cover how to use the mixer, setting levels and gain staging, bus and VCA channels, how to use EQ compression and gates effectively, how to use effects channels and time-based effects, mixing drums, guitars, bass, and keys, and also mixing vocals and vocal tuning and vocal production techniques as well. I'll also show you how offline and real-time automation in Studio One works. For this course, I'm using the Mac OS version of Studio One 4.1 Professional, so I'll mention both Mac and PC shortcuts when I use them. Let's get right into this. Since this song was recorded in a different DAW, I'm going to have to create a new song file and import the stems. I'll give the song a title, so I'll just call it Tortured Soul Mix, and I'll keep the original sample rate and bit depth or resolution of the recorded stems. I also like to match the tempo of the original recording, which is 128 BPM, so I'll make sure that I change that here. Then I'll press OK to bring up the song page. Just a note on some terminology, in Studio One, sessions or project files are called song files, and the word project is specifically reserved for Studio One's mastering window, where you can master an entire project like an album or an EP. However, if I use the word session instead of song, it means the same thing to me. So next I'll import the audio stems by going up to Song, Import File, or you can press Shift-Command-O on a Mac or Shift-Control-O on a PC. In my stems folder, I'll click on the top audio file here. I'll hold shift and select the bottom one to select them all. And then I'll just click open to import these into my session. Each of the stems gets imported onto its own track. You can zoom each of these tracks vertically, and you can also zoom the track header horizontally. You can click on a track and drag it around to reorder it, and you can double click on the name to rename it. So off screen, I renamed these and reordered these in a more logical fashion. Next, I'll use track folders to organize my session even more. So what I'll do is I'll select all of my guitar tracks by selecting the top one, then holding shift and selecting the bottom one. Then I'll right click and choose the pack folder option. What this does is it packs all of these into a track folder, and I'll double click to rename this folder guitars. I can double click the folder to see all of my guitar tracks or double click again to hide them within the folder. I'll select all of these and click on the color indicator on the left of the track header to change all of these to the same color. Next I'll do the same with all my piano tracks. I'll just right click, choose pack folder, double click to open them up, set them all to the same color, and then rename this to pianos. I'll do this with my drum tracks as well. So now my session is much better organized. Now if you click here or press F4, this will hide and show the inspector. When you have an audio track selected, you can control the level of that track here in the inspector, as well as add effects inserts and sends, and you can also mute and solo the channel here as well. When you select a folder, none of these options show up. If you click on this menu on the folder and choose Add Bus Channel, what this does is it will group the tracks in the folder to a bus channel. So now you can have grouped control over all of the guitars, and you can even mute and solo and add effects inserts and sends just like we could with a regular audio channel. So that gives us mix control over all of the tracks inside of that folder because they're now grouped over to a bus channel. I'll do the same with my pianos. And also I'll do the same with my drums. All right, so I've got the session nice and neat and organized. In the next video, I'll give you an overview of the mixer in Studio One. 